you know, fun to get out here and let them play. We, we've uh, started Wednesday, so a week and a half ago. So we've been we've been uh, we've been rolling, and uh, so and everything's kind of there's there's restraints and constraints on everything you do as far as your tempo practice and you know, thud and tracking and, and shorts or vests, uh, you know, whatever. The situation is you get two live scrimmages, you know, in preseason. So really tried to treat it like a preseason game. Um, that's just kind of the, what I was trying to create mentality-wise, you know, headsets uh, and then uh, ACC officials, you know, everything, and just really try to call it as strict as we could call it. Um, and uh, you know, today was a was a a fun day as far as being able to go play. You know, with, without okay, it's. All right, we're, we're second and eight, and we're playing third. You know, creating situations and you know, thud in the box, tracking on the back, whatever, whatever it is. This is alive. Go play, and uh, you know, it's, it's a different world. You know, when I was playing, it was every day was live, and you know, they had to tell you, hey, it's not live. You know, now you got to say it's live. Uh, it's, so it's such a different world for these guys, and you know, so it's a challenge because uh, you've got to. You got to take advantage of your opportunities, and so we had a certain amount of plays we wanted to get, and and lots of different situations, uh, mostly good on good. I think I mixed it up one time where we went ones on twos, but the rest was good on good the whole whole day, and you know trying to hit all the different field zones from backed up, middle field, red zone, uh, first and nine on the nine, play it out, goal line, uh, short yardage. We we we, we hit it all uh, today. And the uh, only thing we didn't do was two-minute. We'll get that we'll get that yesterday, and then we'll get that next week uh, live. But, you know, it, the, usually usually this scrimmage is, uh, is usually a, a day that the defense kind of owns the day. That's kind of been the – probably in my history, that's probably the way it's been. But that wasn't the case today. And I, I, honestly, I kind of I kind of saw that coming. I told the defense, uh, you know, just – I'm, I'm really, really. It was very competitive. You know, defense did a lot of good things. They had a couple of nice turnovers. Uh, Cooper had a pick. R.J. had a pick. Uh, you know, we did. You know, throughout all three groups, we had a few sacks. But, but uh, you know, good on good. Uh, it was incredibly competitive, and uh, very encouraged by what I see with our guys up front and offensive line. And uh, you know, I think they. All they hear and read is how bad they are, you know, uh, and it's just the opposite on the other side. All they hear and read is how great they are, and you know, I think you saw uh, the results of that today. You know, I, I, I definitely think, you know, the offensive line won the day in the trenches today, uh, which is good to see. You know, good for both sides. They're very competitive. I love how our backs ran the ball. All the backs had some big plays. Made some big plays in the passing game. Really pleased with DJ. You know, he had one mistake. Kate had one critical mistake. Um, we had some guys you know, make plays. Really, I think we had one drop the whole the whole day. The guys made plays. Uh, you know, with, with each group. But uh, just a a very you know it's it's a you, you wish you were playing somebody else because uh, it's you know it's a it's a double edged sword for me. Um, you know, if, if the punters, if you had great punt, uh, you know, but your, your your punt return was excellent, well, that meant your punt coverage wasn't very good, right? You know, so it's like, all right, we got it's a double-edged sword. You're happy, but then you're mad. Uh, so, very competitive day. I'm really pleased with, with the efforts. Uh, a lot on tape that we can teach from, and if we get better from it, you know, three weeks from tomorrow, we're loading the bus to go to Atlanta. So. We're not ready to play right now, um, but I do think we're heading in the right direction with a lot of positive things. And I feel really good about you know what I'm seeing, uh, you know, in all areas. But this is a this is a bunch that'll compete. It's a physical group, and you know we got to clean up some discipline things. We, we did have some penalties in the red zone. We had a couple of offsides. We we had a big play on a third down for a first down, and we got a. We got a guy that lined up on the line and covered up my tight end to get an ineligible downfield, called back. Uh, you know, we got a fourth and inches on the defense and goes for a 40-something yard touchdown because we didn't contain. 
Uh, you know, so, so there's there's just a lot of discipline things that showed up today that we got to we got to clean up. The, the number one thing we talk about all the time is, is don't lose to Clemson, and uh, you know we'll have a little list of those things and what that means uh, today. So. Um, Special teams wise, really pleased with VT. He's had a great camp. Uh, you know, Robert has had a great camp, but I thought he, I thought he, you know, that's why we come over here. It's just different, even though it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of concrete looking at you. It's, it's just a different vibe. And you know, uh, he finished well, but I didn't think he, I didn't think he had. I thought he had his worst day, uh, and he's been really good. He's a very, very talented kicker. Uh, but man, continue to be. Incredibly pleased and encouraged with our punters. Aiden has had about four days in a row, really, really doing a nice job for us. Uh, worked on all the open field, worked on punting, you know, off the goal line, uh, backed up back at the goal line, and um, really pleased with our punters. Jack's starting to make make a lot of progress. BT's been very steady there, so I think it's a uh, you know, we're in a good spot. We've got two guys that can really bomb it, you know as far as kicking it out of the end zone and BT and, and, uh, and gun. So uh, special teams wise, you know, pretty good day. I thought our kick return and punt return was, was really good. Now again, the uh, disappointing thing with that is, you know, I, I wasn't very pleased with our kick coverage and punt coverage. So, uh, but it's good to get it all on tape, coach off of it, and go from there. Coach, is there, is there anything in particular learned from your team today? <laughs> What's that? Is there anything in particular you learned from your team today? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I think this is a tough group, man. I thought I thought they were would be a physically tough group, uh, but until you really go play and you, and you really you know, turn it loose, um, the game's just different. When it's you know, all on your feet, dud type contest, it's physical, but it ain't like this. And uh, we got a tough group. We got a tough group, both sides of the ball. And so I'm, I'm pleased with that. You know, I, I think I got confirmation on that today. Did you come yeah. out of the scrimmage pretty injury free? I, I, I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, you know, Pat will give me a report. I'm, you know, I think uh, I might have one one guy maybe just go off look like he may have hurt his ankle, but I couldn't I couldn't tell. But he jogged off, you know. But I think other than that, I, saw, I think I only saw one guy. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, but how, how much experience is Thomas like Walker? Well, we're just trying to get the best five. That's, you know, as I told y'all earlier, we got to find out who's the best five. You know, who's six, who's seven, who's eight. You know, what kind of build it from there. But uh, you know, Walker. It, it's really not about Walker as it is. You know, uh, Blake Miller. You know, who, who's the fifth best guy? Is it Blake? We know Walker's in there. Is it Blake? Is it Tucker? Is, you know, Mitchell's been out. He'll, he'll hopefully be back Monday. Uh, he hadn't been able to practice most of the week. Uh, uh, in, in uh, protocol, so he'll be back uh, Monday, ready to go. But you know, so is it is it Blake? Is it Mitchell? Is it is it Sadler? Is it you know who is it? Uh, who's the fifth best guy? And depending on who that is, is it Dietrich? Who's the fifth best guy? We got flexibility, and if it means moving Walker to guard, uh, if Blake's the fifth best guy, and we we we're, he's more comfortable to tackle right now, then that's what we do. Uh, so Walker, Walker's a natural man. I mean, he's he, he can play anywhere you want to play. He's he's a really, really good football player. And uh, so, yeah, we have mixed it up as far as who the first five is. Um, I, think, I think today he kept it fairly consistent. And uh, you know, but we we got a good idea uh, you know, as far as the guys that we think will be ready to play. I mean, I, I really feel good about our group. I mean, I think, I think we. We're still trying. Who, who's that first five? Because there's competition for that. I think that's great. But you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, I think we got eleven and a half guys that I would trust pretty good right now. And then hopefully by the time we get to game day, we'll, we'll be you know, maybe twelve uh, or thirteen. It's just a, it's a, it's a much more veteran group. You know, this time, you know, we've got two true freshmen in, in Blake and Colin, and both of those guys will help us. I can tell you all right now, they both will play. They're both going to help us. They've proven that. Been here since January. They're ready. And the rest of those guys, you know, um, you know Tristan and Dietrich and, uh, and Lempick on, 
you know, even though they're redshirt freshmen, they're, they're going on year two. We're just more mature. We're just in a better place with those guys. To go along with that third year sophomore group, and juniors, and, and J Max. So just just more functionality, more competition, more guys that are capable of competing. And that's making us better. So. Is that a question in regards to your wide receiver group? Yeah, really. The receivers have been really good. I mean, I'm super pleased with, with our group. Uh, you know, uh, Bo's been out a few days. EJ's, you know, hopefully be back running around Monday, ready to go. But, so the, the encouraging thing is, Bo and EJ have been out all week. Both of them off to a great start in camp, and both will be back, you know, soon. But um, it's allowed us to really challenge some other guys, uh, and really pleased again with EJ how he came out of camp and. Had a little issue. He made a great catch. He came down funny and kind of had a hematoma or whatever that thing's called. But he's uh, he's doing he'll be fine. Uh, same thing with Bo. Bo Bo's doing well. But uh, it's it, you know, it's allowed us to, to get a lot of work to these other guys. And uh, man, and God has been awesome. <laughs> I know how many times you heard me say that. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, he made it. He made. It. Couple of big plays today. He's just been a great leader for us. It's, it's been really fun to see. So you know, I, I'm just really happy for him, and hopefully he can stay the course. Uh, Specter, Specter's been awesome. Same, you know, this time last year he couldn't walk up these steps. And he ain't missed a rep. I mean, he's been awesome. The kid hadn't played in two years. He's just a really veteran, veteran guy. He's got a great mindset. Uh, really pleased with him. Dakari had a couple of nice plays. I mean, you know, Dakari started a lot of games last year, roll above. So, got all those guys back. Uh, again, we get DJ and Bo back. And, uh, Will Taylor and Drew and Antonio. Uh, Cole Turner. Cole Turner. I mean, this kid is, this kid is, he's got unbelievable long term potential. I mean, he, he could help us this year. You know, I'm hoping we don't have to have him. But, uh, he's making it hard on us. Makes plays every day, every day. Had two, two big plays today, and, and he gets yards after contact. He's strong, he's fast, but he, he just he touches it, he catches it, and uh, he's just got a unique knack for finishing plays. So it's a really good group, and we're gonna get Adam Randall back soon. You know, I mean, so we got we gotta. I just love how it's coming together, and we're we're building a lot of confidence. Uh, in a lot of areas, we got we just got more depth than we've had there in a long, long time, and, and, um, and we're heading in the right direction. Towards Stilato, Stilato's out. Stilato tore his ACL, uh, uh, you know. So he he had had a couple good days, uh, but you know, just like all these other injuries, you know, he's that's it's, unfortunately that's kind of been his story really since he's got here to this point is he's been injured, you know. He's not been a guy that's really been available very much from the day he got here. Uh, he's had a lot of a lot of deals and, you know, uh, I thought he finished spring really well, showed some things, and then he had two good days in a row, taking advantage of his opportunity. So it's just another setback for him. But he's a redshirt freshman. It's frustrating. Um, but, you know, that's what I told him. I just tried to encourage him. I mean, Lucas back here and played two years, you know, and here he is. Uh, he's still got four years left, you know, because he redshirted. And if you redshirt and then you lose another season due to injury, you automatically get that year. So he's still got four years left starting next year. It's all in front of him. You know, we had a guy come speak uh, to the team the other day, Inky Johnson. I don't know if you've heard of him. And, you know, he's paralyzed from the arm down. You know, he's paralyzed on his own right side. And, and we just talked about having good perspective, you know. I mean, he's – not going to cut his leg off. He's going to come back. He's got some great examples on this team. It's frustrating because the time he stinks and he wants to play. And, um, but, you know, it's just – this is a part of his story. Uh, and, again, you know, just plant it and cut. I mean, that's – just like, you know, like I saw Will Taylor last year, you know, just nobody even touched it. And that's kind of how most of these things happen, unfortunately. But, uh, so we'll, we'll uh, attack his rehab and – and, um, and get him back, you know, the spring ready to go. And again, he's got his whole future in front of him. He's going to be a really good player. But, you know, fortunately, from a, a, a depth standpoint, we're, it's a position we've got depth. And, uh, you know, and we're really fortunate with that. But, you know, you hate to you hate to lose anybody. 
you know, especially a kid that you, you really see making some progress and, and he's been through a lot, but again, uh, uh, he's just gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta keep grinding and, um, and, and, and keep, his, keep his perspective and his attitude right, focus on the long term. When did that happen? Uh, yes, yesterday. Yeah, he's good. John's good. He, he he had a little. I think he had like a little cyst uh, that he had to get cleared up. But he's he's good. When you step Bo back? Soon. I mean, he's he's doing really good. We're being cautious with him. You know, he just kind of fell on his shoulder and a pretty good, pretty good uh, a bruise there. So, you know, just not getting any contact. But his range of motion is great. And he's, he's he's doing well. So we'll probably hold him. You know, through next week, and then hopefully. You know, get him back going um, as we get into those last couple weeks. As a head coach, you want to see all three phases do well. But after last season's struggles, DJ and the offense, does it tickle you a little bit to see him come out and kind of win the day out here? Heck yeah! I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, shoot, we were a mess, and uh, you know, it's just to see the confidence and guys making plays and just you know, seeing seeing them, the, the the knowledge being you know. Applied, you know, they're, 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 t they're taking it from meet rooms and they're applying it, but just the chemistry, you know, again, those first, those first seven, eight offensive linemen, you know, have a, have a lot of good chemistry, you know, and we've got some flexibility in those backs, our tight ends, you know, receivers are making plays and all of that. What does all that do? Everything around the quarterback, what does that do? Does that make the quarterback better or worse? Better. Exactly. Uh, when all that ain't good, does it make the quarterback better or worse? Worse. worse. Exactly. This ain't rocket science. Uh, <laughs> and, it, and it affects their confidence and, and all those things. And then, you know, the quarterbacks start trying to do too much. And then it's just because the quarterbacks get all the blame. They get all the credit, too. Uh, but uh, it, it's it's fun to see our quarterbacks, you know, starting to just, just have a little uh, uh, calmness to them because we're just better around them. You know, we're better around them. playing physical. And it's good to see, man. You know, we got we got three special backs. Uh, and dudes are the dudes are really good football players. And, but it all they'll, they'll be the first ones to tell you it's just it all starts with those guys up front. And uh, man, I'm proud of DJ's making. He made he made two or three big plays with his legs today. Uh, same thing with Kate. I think Kate ended up with two touchdowns. Uh, you know, in the in the goal line red zone area. So good to see the quarterbacks making plays with their legs, you know, both running it and and extending plays. Is EJ still like limited right now? Yeah, yeah, he's he'll be he he'll be back soon. Hopefully Monday he's running routes and stuff and getting ready to get back in there. But he uh, it was it was kind of it was just kind of a weird deal. Uh, and then you know he, he he goes out to the lake and, and decides he wants to jump on two. Uh, so that probably didn't help help. Him. <laughs> Speediness of the recovery. I was like, I thought I was, you know, I was just laying down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ever <over> too? <laughs> Hang on to your life, right? <laughs> uh, he'll be all right. Uh, Will Taylor is uh, uh, similar uh, to, to Renfro, former quarterback, former wide receiver. How would you compare their, uh, his acclimation to the position at the similar point in Renfro? Yeah, career? yeah. The difference is Renfro spent that whole redshirt year working on the craft. Mm -hmm. uh, Will did. Uh, we'll, we'll play, you know, that fourth game, we were just starting to kind of, you know, transitioning, uh, you know, switch meeting rooms and all that, and you know, two plays in or whatever, he's out. So that's the difference. Uh, so And you see that. You know, so he, he looks like a, a, a freshman out there. He's so natural as far as just his, he's explosive, he's fast, and he's strong, he's compact, he's a really good finisher on the ball. All that stuff's natural. Uh, but the, the the route running, the influence, the break points, you know, the nuances of the position, he's like a true freshman out there because he hasn't done it. Playing with your hands, you know, he's just never done it. And he gets better, but he just gets better every day because he's such a worker and such a grinder. And, uh, and then, uh, Anto and, you know, and Antonio is just, he's just, you know, he's not as strong as Will, but he, he's just, he's just <coughs> He's more natural because he's just what he's always done, you know. And uh, but they're gonna both end up in the same spot when it's all said and done. I mean, Will's Will's just gonna keep getting better and better and better. He's just what we thought he'd be. Um, 
And again, the difference is I wish we had had him last year to work through some of these uh, things that we're working through right now. When Antonio coming into the summer, how is he doing? Is he smart as picking up the offense and being ready to go out? He's doing good. You know, we're at that point now where we're, we're trying to get him to learn, you know, two spots. Uh, and I think he feels good about, you know, a five man and, and where he is there, but we need him to know the two as well. Uh, and you got to be able to be interchangeable right there. So he's 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 coming. He's picking it up. We, made, we had a nice, a nice play today. Uh, he's, doing a, he's doing a good job. You know, Drew, Drew's had a heck of a camp. He's, he's done a, I mean, he's savvy and he's done a really good job. Uh, you know, so Hampton Earl, Hampton Earl's another kid that, that nobody really talks about. He's a, he's a very savvy dude that, that really knows how to play and, and uh, can help us as well. So we've just got a lot of guys. Uh, Hamp Green, um, other areas up there, Hamp Green. He's a really functional player. So it's a it's a position of strength for us. Excellent. The tight ends were excellent. Uh, you know, outside of we had we had a penalty in the red zone, a hold call, and then we had uh, – you know, we got it, but we had a third, you know, third and six, and a third and I've been third and five, and we come up six inches short, you know, on the catch. And, you know, that's situational awareness. You know, don't, don't put me in that situation. You know, we went for it, and, and it was a 40 yard touchdown run. So, but uh, we got to get the first down on the catch. Uh, so, just some, just some situational things. But, man, they made plays. Brady had an excellent day. He had, Three or four catches. Maybe a couple catches. Uh, Sage may have had one. Luke may have had one. Sap had a nice play. I'll tell you, I'm a little Sap. So really glad we got him. He's a he's a little ball player now. He's tough. He's natural. He's a really good athlete. Uh, he, he made it. He just just comes easy for him. He's a fit kid. You know, uh, he ain't afraid. He's played linebacker. He's played DN. He's played quarterback, he's played running back, I mean, he's a basketball player, he's just a, a really smooth athlete, so I'm, I'm really, really excited about him, and uh, again, he made a nice play today, so, you know, as a group, it's, it's, uh, it's a good group. Moving Trent Nguyen, side linebacker, what did you see today with him at that position, did, did, did it work out, did you, did you transition like you wanted to? Well, I mean, he's doing great, I, I will see what all he did today, as far as just doing his job, sometimes you do your job well, but you may not have made a bunch of plays because you know, just the nature of the call or whatever. But, uh, you know, we'll grade this tonight and this afternoon, and we'll spend a lot of time talking about personnel tomorrow and kind of where we are and, and then, you know, moving forward uh, through Wednesday um, and then really kind of clean everything up on Thursday. You know, we're going to give them two days, Friday and Saturday, to rest and recover. You know, at that point, you've been going two and a half weeks and, and just give them two days rest, come back on Sunday and – Great camp that Wednesday. Uh, after that, so um, you know, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll grade him. And he's been he's been awesome. He's been awesome. He's any, no problem. I'm sorry. Uh, any positions on the defense, any position groups in particular, where you feel like you still need to make a jump? And then really uh, I mean, I mean, not really. I mean, they all they all got work to do. I mean, I'm not really. I'm not really sitting here going, oh man, we, we got a long way to go at this position and this position. I mean, I think we got really good players in every position. We just got to be disciplined, you know. We, we've got to be detailed in what we do, and we got to be dependable. Um, you know, down in and down out, and, and really good situational, you know, uh, awareness. You know, that's really it. Just, just continue to bring guys along. I mean, I, I, I think we've got. Good players and good depth. I mean, the young guys is, is probably the, the biggest area I want to see. You know, Coble and Toriano and J. Lou. You know, those guys kind of keep coming and, and uh, just become more and more dependable. But uh, we've got good leadership. You know, it's, it's a good group. Yeah, yeah but what's your uh, take on Malcolm Green? Just sort of where he is right now. Yeah, he's good. I mean, he's playing corner and playing nickel for us. Uh, you know, got a lot of confidence in Malcolm. Uh, Made a couple plays today, uh, and uh, you know, same thing. Really good leader, and, uh, very functional football player. Could probably play safety for us as well if we, if we needed it. Watching Xavier yesterday, he, he looks amazing physically. What, what kind of a week has he had? He's been, he's had a great camp. He really has. I mean, he's 
He's as focused as he's ever been. He's I've never ever seen him run like I've seen him run. And he's he's really really fast and just um, you know playing within the scheme. And, uh, but the probably thing I'm most proud of with him is just he's really developed into a good leader. You know, he's a good leader. I'm proud of him. I mean, you know, David Thomas is. He's, he's what coach is all about. You know, I'm just really proud of him and who he is. Uh, how he's developed and matured as a man and just you know his conscientiousness on all the little things. Uh uh right now no. Uh, so I mean, we got a we got a long way to go, but you know, we'll see. I think they're I think they're very natural. Um, but, you know, certainly, if played day, it'd be, it'd be really T for sure. Uh, confidence in him, but he's 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 on his way to having a great great year for us last year. Uh, but I do think Antonio and Cole will be you know, good return guys as they get as they go. But and I'm sure you'll see them at some point this year. As of today, I, 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 I would not run them out there. Yeah, but it's on the left side of the line, it's Shane Mack and Marcus tackling guard. Does that feel set, or is there some uh, You know, we've actually, man, we, we, we flipped them. We've cross-trained them. Marcus has worked left tackle because, you know, we've got to, again, uh, what if Shane Mack, you know, got an ingrown toenail and, and uh, couldn't, couldn't walk? Uh, or, you know, who's the next best tackle? Is it Marcus and moving a guard in there? You know, so we we tried to just it's a lot like the NFL. You know, when you got you dress seven or eight, and you, you got to have some you got to have some flexibility. Um, you know, but, but when you're in our situation, you just want to get who's the best five, who's the next best five, the next who's seven, eight, whatever. So sometimes it means the guy has to move. Um, so we we've cross trained. J Mac and Marcus uh, on both sides. But Marcus is doing a race. He's, he's just he's just night and day from where he was this time last year. I mean, night and day. Uh, so much his body's different. He's stronger, but he's just more so much more confident and, and sure of himself. Uh, and as a result, you play more physical. You play faster. You know, your endurance is a little bit better because you're not hyperventilating every play. Uh, and so it's. It's been good. They've done a nice job. Putnam's been excellent. Putnam has been really good. I, that's probably been my thing I'm most pleased with is uh, our snaps during camp. It's been really, really good. Really good. How many call starts today that you were calling? We had a couple. Yeah, we had a couple. Kate, get back in the stadium playing live. Is how far have you seen him come since this year? Kate? I mean, he's just. Just kind of picked up where he left off, you know. I mean, just he just moments never too big for him. I mean, he's just a very natural kid, you know. He's very eager. He's got a lot of energy, and uh, you know, I thought he did a good job. Had one really bad play, uh, but you know, he's he's just a bigger, stronger version of what we saw in the spring. Smarter. As you said, you had purple jerseys in your room during the spring scrimmage, so you feel like he's getting the ball. Yeah, he had he had a couple of those today too. He had he had a couple where it was a sack and he needed to get rid of it. You know, uh, sometimes they kind of get in a bad habit out here. But, you know, but we can't we just we can't afford to hit quarterbacks. You know, so it is what it is. Got to kind of coach him out of that and you play yourself down a little bit. But he, he'll learn. He'll learn. And he's really fast. And so you know he's got a lot of confidence in his ability to run. And. He's learning that we got other fast people too uh, that can also run. You know, I think he he got away with a lot in high school because he just not many guys can run with him. Uh, but we got some dudes on the other side of the ball that can they run a little bit too. I saw you working on uh, rugby points yesterday. Yeah, uh, could, could that be a clincher with, with these three guys? It's just a part of our inventory. You know, we got a lot of you know types of kicks that we have to work on. Kickoffs, you know, different types of kickoffs. Lots of different types of punts, and you know, you, you just never know what your situation is. You know, weather, wind. You know, maybe there's some elite returner. Uh, you know, whatever it is, and and uh, you know, so you just just if you just have a fastball, usually they hit it, 
You know, we kind of want to be Greg Maddox, right? We want to have all the pitches, you know. Uh, so kind of hard to have all the pitches we don't work on. It. So we, we, we work on it. A little different, too, with a lefty. First time we've you know, really you know, had to kind of coach that up. We did it a couple times last year. But, um, yeah, so just, just something we got to have in our toolbox, you know, just depending on how people play. We're a shield punt team. And so how people play that changes from week to week. So sometimes you just gotta you just gotta make sure you've got uh, a different way to get the ball off uh, based on maybe game plan and how they stress your protection. Any cornerbacks in closer eye? Um I mean not really. I mean I just I mean I saw Jay Lou make a nice PBU but uh, we had two or three PIs today. Um, but we'll see the tape, you know. See what all was going on. Have you done any opponent specific stuff? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we did all of our, we've done all of our, you know, first three or four opponents from spring and early summer, just our normal preseason scout report stuff that we always do. So yeah, yeah, we've done a lot of preseason study on what we think and just gathering information, and, you know, spring games and you know all that type of stuff. And going back to last year, you know, we're going to play a lot of different coaches this year. There's a lot of different coordinators that, that's on our schedule, so you know, some of it, it just doesn't help you. Uh, that's what makes the opener hard. You know, George Tech's got you got different people, uh, different players, transfers, you know, all kind of different things. So it's it, you know, and as Joe heard me say, the opener to me is always the hardest game because it's you got more time to prepare than any other game that you ever have. And there's so many unknowns. You just don't, I mean, you think you know. Usually, you know, when you play two or three games, you start to at least have an identity. Uh, you know a little bit more about the personnel. You have a much better feel for who they are schematically. Uh, not that you don't have game plan stuff from week to week, but just, you know, a little bit of a personality. When, when we've had all spring and all summer, and you don't know a lot about their personnel, especially when there's a lot of influx of new people and coaches, it just creates, you know, extra stress because you know it's, it's just, especially in the early part of the game, there's a lot of feeling out going on like, okay, you think you kind of have an idea of who they are, but you don't really know. And we had that happen last year. Uh, we were playing, they, you know, we, we, they played everything we didn't prepare for, and, uh, and we, we had a hard time with it, but you know, just making adjustments. I don't know if you saw any of it last night, but pretty neat to have two of your quarterbacks Share the field and then a bell game. I did not. We were out here, uh, so we had a late walk through last night. So I did not get to see it, uh, unfortunately. Hopefully, they got a picture. Uh, I don't know if they got a picture. I hadn't seen it yet. But maybe they did. Uh, yeah, they were pretty cool. Two national championship quarterbacks get a chance to play against each other. Take one or two more if anybody has any. The Peyton Page with the weight loss. How do you think he might mix in in reserve this year? Wow. He's 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 going to be a great one. I mean, he's. He can play. He looks great. He's moving great. Uh, he's, he's playing with a with a high motor. He's just got a lot more energy to him. And, uh, he's, you know, he's again that's a position of depth for us. So uh, hopefully we can play fast and physical and, and wear people down. And he'll be a part of that for sure. K. Park had two sacks today. It was good to see. Uh, Good to see him. Denhoff. Denhoff's another guy you know, we don't really ever get asked about. But redshirt freshman. I really like what I'm seeing from Denhoff. Greg Williams had a nice play today. You know, Swint. You know, we got we got we got a lot of guys outside of just the, the everybody the ones everybody talks about that I think that I think will, will, will make a difference for us this year. Anybody else? Thanks, coach.